really be purged because a lot of people really don't understand this, even though it's public knowledge. Right. However, things are moving so quickly yes. with these operatives trying to kill the heirs off of them. The heirs don't know they're trying to kill them all. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, they see the chemtrails, mm -hmm. strange files and stuff. Mm -hmm. and everybody keep getting colds and all kind of stuff. <clears throat> and yeah. Cancers and everything. They're trying to kill them all. And they sit around looking for a job. And that ain't gonna happen. And praying for cancer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. Uh, and so, uh, uh, again, it is incumbent and it's, it's our responsibility, knowing the truth, to teach someone who does not know. And let them understand it's not a belief system. It's an estate. It's the real world's politics. And they were at the center and didn't know it. That's what our people need to understand. So you give them documents. Don't try to convince them of anything. Give them documents. Because remember, they've been trained like little rats. They don't deal with facts. They only deal with belief systems. And they think it came from Jesus. Not knowing it came from Rome. You know, so, it's, it, so they're going to be very sensitive. They're going to be defensive. They're going to have tunnel vision and a whole bunch of things, so don't get offended. Just give them documents. <coughs> and they let it lay. And if they don't accept it, knock the dust off your heels and keep it moving. Give it to somebody who wants it. <coughs> Any other questions? I, I, got, I got one more comment. Go ahead. Oh, here's the mic. You need the mic? Oh, yes. Yeah, attorney license, attorney license for Attorney license ain't no such thing. As per United States Supreme Court, the practice of law cannot be licensed by any state, upper and lower case. And that's Square versus Board of uh, Examiners. 353 U.S. 238, 239, be the practice of law is an occupation of common right. Are we clear, you all? What is that? That's um, you know, yeah. Google, Google. That's case law. Attorney license for it. <coughs> Excuse me. Write it down, y'all. Attorney, license fraud, and it'll come up. And print that off, so keep that in mind. But this is also back to why you must know that the Constitution and the treaty constitutes the supreme law of the land. And that's what you're supposed to use in defense of your estate and your birthright. That's it. All right? You ain't got to jump through the hoop with a whole bunch of other stuff. Nope. And if you fall for uh, such distractions, that means you willingly give up your birthright. So now you know that the true American flag is the al Moroccan flag. And you know that Stars and Stripes is amity and commerce, and they breached the treaty. Therefore, they have no authority of operations whatsoever. Clear for the documents. Get the point? Mm -hmm. uh, would you? And that the estate has been restored to the proper beneficiaries, the aggregate, true, Americans of the land, i.e. the Moors. It's lots of good time. Can you explain to everybody that's listening to me? the treasury bonds that's being dumped? The treasury bonds that's being dumped. Uh, when you hear the word derivatives and all that, those are really All right, this is derivatives. And this is what like, say for instance, like here, say this represents a stock, a legitimate stock on gold right. or silver. Mm -hmm. I, I sell cheap. She buys a stock. Mm -hmm. This stock is, say, worth, um, say, 500 legitimate right. United States dollars back in gold or silver, as per Article 1, Section 10 of the American Constitution. I sell this to her. She puts this in her treasury. She's, in her mind, secure. Mm -hmm. Then, unbeknownst to her, after I sell her this one, I print another one mm -hmm. on top of this, and I do it 300 times. Mm -hmm. I just robbed her without physically robbing her. 
Now her bond is worthless. Mm -hmm. That's called quantitative easing. That's what derivatives are. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, derivatives are counterfeit multiplied on top of counterfeit. Mm -hmm. And then selling them again to other people and then doing it again to them. That's what's going on. And this is where this thing is getting ready to hit the fan big time. And people are going to find out they got no security, no savings, no retirement, no nothing. And that's what all of this stuff is. They're trying to cover this stuff up because it's getting ready. It's already hit the fan, but the people right now are in the state of mind. They think they think they got poker dot all day. Mm -hmm. But the dude who has went through the fan. They need to know about baby before compliance. Yes, and so it's almost like this. The people almost have to be smashed yes. to acknowledge yeah. Yeah. that they've been had because they refuse to admit that Rome has deceived them. Because yeah. yes. they've been following Rome for so many generations with their blind faith yeah. and hiding behind, not doing with religion, they've been hiding behind religion and hiding behind the name of Jesus. Yeah. And they get ready to get smashed and they are in denial. However, <laughs> shortly, they're not going to be able to deny anymore because pain is a great teacher. They're going to find themselves on the curb. They're going to find they got no finance. They're going to start putting plastic cards in and the machine going to go burp. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of things. And so they're trying to cover this stuff up. And the Russians and the Chinese are telling them no more shells. So they're dumping the bonds, right. and so it's only a matter of time when the shelves start getting right. bare right. and empty. Right. Right. They, they now, to stop this chaos, this is where the uh, Manchurians and others are coming with what they call the global uh, accounts. They're going to they're going to re, they're going to restore the integrity. And so all the new buildings that you see going on in North America, they're not backed up by the United States, they're backed up by Manchurians. Right. Right. Um, and so the uh, accounts are actually in the process of being released now. So things are being put in place right. to save these people who keep on, who've been lying all these generations, hiding behind Jesus and find out they've been worshiping Constantine. And Constantine get ready to kill them off, they don't know that. And um, so Russia and China is coming to the rescue. Mm -hmm. They're dumping the bombs. China bought Long Beach and Los Angeles ports, the two largest ports. Port Richie, Philadelphia. They're controlling two thirds of Detroit. Mm -hmm. uh, they got 62% of mm -hmm. all the valuable buildings in Lower Manhattan. Right, right, right. 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 Uh, they are controlling the J.P. Morgan building now, and the Fed in New York. Uh, that's the real politics. Meanwhile, we're supposed to be teaching our people, but you already know that so-called black leaders are sold out. They have no credibility whatsoever. Uh, and so we're working this out. They're working this out and trying to keep this, the lid on this thing while this transition is being made. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Russia and China is, is, is sent fleets to the Gulf in, in, in the Middle East. Right. Um, and the United States Corporation Company has been forced to send their uh, carriers home. Yeah. And of course they got to cover this stuff up, so they're trying to start these wars to cover up mm -hmm. this craziness because mm -hmm. they don't want these people here to come choking them. Starting with Reverend on the corner that they don't know his agents. I, I think they're more afraid of the people. Um, so all of this stuff is getting ready to get really ugly. Yeah. And so um, logical is no, it's a no one's interest for this confusion. Right. Um, so this uh, so-called election, which it really isn't, mm -hmm. yeah. with uh, Hillary and and uh, Trump, which is really a play, right? Because Trump is not president. Right. And Hillary is not unprecedented. Mm -hmm. Neither one of them is there playing. That's their that's their job. Yeah. And uh, and so and this is re really the reason why Comey didn't prosecute Hillary. Mm -hmm. It was never going to happen mm -hmm. in the first place. Mm -hmm. Never going to happen. Somebody reported the dark. 
Of course you are. All your, you all your major uh, European women in power are daughters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and all your big matrons in the church of the so-called so-called black churches, all of them are Eastern stars or daughters mm -hmm. of ISIS. Yes, they are. Yeah. And in secret, they got a fez too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. They're going to be out of too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and all these big time preacher guys with sixty million dollar planes yeah. that they're robbing yeah. and the widows pennies yeah. with, but they might get hard from the nearest pole. You know, so they got to protect their overseers too. Uh, say again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God is government is gold, oil, and drugs. <laughs> Our concept of law, our concept of law, God means government orders departments. God comes from uh, Middle English, which is derived from Old High German, from Gut and, and uh, Gut, G-U-T-T, and Gut, G-U-T, which means good. God is not the name of the supreme being. God is a, de is a political designation. Given to, given to supreme powers, whether positive or negative. You do believe there's a supreme being. See, no, you don't believe yeah. anything. No. You don't believe, believe no. Let's believe. back up. Believe in yourself. You Beliefs are for children, innocent, and rabbits. Yeah. When you become an adult or man or woman, you're supposed to put your childish things away and turn to the facts. Now, God. <coughs> Like, I mean, I'll show you, give you an example. Uh, the priesthood, in order to protect themselves because they know that they're liars and they're parasites, mm -hmm. so that they can't be accused in the future, they will tell people God as if it's the name of the supreme being and then turn around and tell the other truth at the same time. Satan is the God of this world. So Satan is also God, if you understand. Now, so when they start telling you they're collecting money for God, you may think they're collecting for the God in heaven and Allah and Yahweh and Jah and Yehovah, and they're really collecting for the satanic low self, which is their damn selves. <laughs> and then ignorant people who don't understand these dynamics think they're talking. Every time they say the word, word, God, they think they're talking about the supreme being. But the dark priests who protect themselves is called karma. See, because the divine law does not recognize person or station. So they never fail to tell you, well, see, they, Satan is the God of this world, so you can't say they didn't say it. So just because you bought into it, that's on you. See, that, that way in the future when they're charged, they can say, all oh, they was called, you follow. And, and none of these people, whether they're in the church, mosque, or synagogue, none of them can say that the priest didn't tell them that Satan is the God of this world. And that's what they've been serving. Because a child, a, a little baby, knows that Jesus ain't got no bank account that Chase Man had. And any God that's always broke, you don't need him, he apparently needs you. <laughs> No, a, a child can figure that out. A child can figure that out. But you know when you start talking truth like that, people get sensitive and they get tunnel vision. They don't use their reasoning mind. They start getting all defensive like you got a devil. and oh, they, they get closed mind. Their eyes get really weird. And these horns come up and stuff and they want to hurt you and they hope you burn in fire. That's their love. That's their real love for the world. They want to hurt people that don't buy into their BS. And they, and they hide behind Jesus and say, Jesus sanctioned, Jesus sanctioned none of that crap. It was the priesthood that sold him out. And then the reverend come telling people, the devil did this and we're doing good stuff. And then the devil came over and did stuff. No, it was the priesthood that delivered him to, to the Romans. And everybody's been mad at the devil, the mystery devil ever since. And the, the priest said, child, you give a child that Bible. And let a child just read the story of Jesus disputing with these priesthood who are doctoring up the law. One of them was the priesthood doing it. It was the priesthood who was meeting with Pontius Pilate and the Romans and selling him out. And it was they who delivered him to the Romans. 
and it's they who did it. And then just blame the mystery devil who's been raising finance ever since all about we were raising finance to beat the devil's butt. So let's raise some, high, some more money and make sure you get Jesus' his hand. And adults will really believe it. And a child will see that the priesthood of the demons. Child until the parents smack them all around and say, something wrong to you, you don't know the Lord is. And all that stuff. And then that while child will be glassy eyed and they giving their worst money to the priest. When she was four and I told her when I explained the Jesus thing to her, she said, Well, that sounds like three to the pigs. <laughs> when she was about four, I started because I decided I wasn't gonna indoctrinate her into that. But I wasn't gonna not I was gonna force her into anything I believe. And I was just coming out of Christianity, so I started explaining to her, you know, just giving her over um view. But that sounds like the three little pigs, mommy. Yeah, that's good. That's what she said at four. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, sister. <laughs> you know, and even when you look, when you look at, um, like for instance, like you look at the book of Mark, these are a couple of things that you want to look at. Um, when Yahshua was leaving, and the people asked him, he says, um, well, if you go away, how are you going to know God? And his reply was, what are you talking about? <laughs> Look first back into the hole from which you were dug. Which means if you don't know your own history, don't be talking about no God. Yeah. He says, I go to my father and you will see me no more. What did the Reverend say? He coming back with some sandwiches. <laughs> what did he say? He said, I go to my father and you see me no more. And there's one to come after. And they lie on it all the time and get away with it because they can't read. But it's also because they're hypocrites. Supreme hypocrites. And you tell them but a, child, a child can see it. A child, but they usually beat the children up to make them follow the Romans and hide behind Jesus. When you see people running around talking about Jesus and Muhammad and stuff, you better watch out. They're dangerous. That's why my voice they is worse. They want to hurt you so bad. Yeah. You don't get their reverend five dollars. Take your children on I ninety five at lunchtime and burn in hell and all that kind of stuff. These are evil people. Yeah. They are really evil and dangerous. They'll kill your babies and eat them too. Talk about Jesus. They know it ain't no J in Hebrew. And when you post common sense stuff. It's they, they just, like, that's why I'm worse, because on Facebook, I'm trying to, like, everybody's losing their mind, and I'm trying to help, because a lot of Jamaicans just don't understand. What do you mean I'm not black? That's, I'm like, it's, we take all the books, and we're, like Taj says, reference them. So I take pictures, see, black, adjective, what free white person? Well, I'm, I'm still black, and I start saying, I want that. And they're just not getting it. And, and I'm like, yes, they do. they're dealing with they their beliefs, right to that. and the things that Today. they Today. Today, on 52nd Street, and you know, because West Philly is mostly Muslims, you know, from different sects. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, took, uh, I took a general high school dictionary, just a general high school dictionary, and um, used to a lot of people because using my like, go to high school, but I go drink my coffee in high school, but they find me anyway. Anyway, so I had this thing with me. And I took them to black, showed them basic third grade grammatication, right? Black, adjective, third grader, adjective. Boy, that's not a proper noun. It's not a noun, because it can't be a person, place, or thing. A child can see that, and an adult keep telling them the black gods of Egypt and stuff. And then I showed them, I went to the etymology, Beetle, B H E L. So anybody go to a the dictionary, and it tells you shining, pale, white. Because that's what it means. They can't even read, and they think it means color. Do you understand? Then it says N E, Middle English, 12th to 15th century. Then you go put a timeline on it. 1100 to 1500. So a scholar knows that word don't go past 1100 on an Earth planet. Then you got these fake scholars paid off by Rome to tell these people of African descent that they're black people. Ancient. Do you understand? Then it has right beneath it black dot a dot more. Compound word. Noun. Separate the adjective from the noun. Any. 
dark skinned man, woman, or child, African, black, separated, more, clear as day in the dictionary. Oh man, that's deep. Well, it's not, you just go to read. And don't you think the world didn't already know this? So in the beginning, I couldn't figure out how black men failed. So this summer, I realized that I didn't. Go ahead, Go ahead sister. I couldn't figure out how black men pale. And not just because I was reading it in a book, but for my own experience. So this summer I realized I didn't wear my crown as much as I should have. I'm laying by the pool, I'm tanning. And as I'm tanning, I'm noticing that my skin is getting darker. But on the flip side, my hair is getting lighter and lighter. What I didn't realize is that my hair is blackening. It's not getting lighter in the sense that it's becoming bleached in the sense that it's becoming what we think is white. Because that's it's that's bleached part. as in black. It's becoming black. It's taking out the metal. It's it's getting lighter. It's Similar. everything the definition of black in the old English text was. Black, blonde, pale, blonde, bleach, bleach, black. That's what the well, like when you it's like like when you do a matchstick or um, charcoal. That's what More it is. More burns than ash. Ash. Cold. That was a good football kick. And so, so the black is really come from <laughs> Paleolith. Yes. Mm -hmm. Paleolith. This is why black man's pale face, because that's what we mean. But it's from old German, old high German. It's not a secret. It's just that these people can't read. Why do you keep saying talk about these little picking in these? Don't worry about these little picking in these. They will never compete because they can't read, and their parents won't. So they're voluntary slaves. Their stakes on the table of the elite eat them. That's their position. And it's documented, which means they deserve it. But these are the people who keep claiming they got a personal relationship with God, Jesus, Allah, Muhammad. They know all that. And shapeshifters and the reptilians and the people, they know all this stuff. <laughs> all right, they got it. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a disgrace. <laughs> They are just, and they're not forgiven because ignorance of the law is no excuse. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, sis. Yes, yeah, so forever I've been drawn to dictionaries and I never knew why. I have so many dictionaries. So, I, you know, from coming to class, he said to check out the dates when they were written because they changed things. Well, I was in the store and I looked in this dictionary and said, the only dictionary your child will ever need. And it was this printed in 2014, okay? So I looked up the definition that they have for black. Black noun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. The wow. color of the night sky, the darkest color, sometimes capitalized a person whose ancestors came from Africa. Oh. Uh huh, connotation. Now, and that's, that. in other words, it's social engineering. When they start and there's them. nothing wrong with they that. You must know that. You yeah. see? This is why wow. scholars buy older books because they already know. The lack of engineering. Now, Edelman, Edelman degree, basic third grade Edelman, parts of speech, placement of the word in its proper matrix, then you look at its derivatives, the timeline, uh, the linguistic charts, uh, put the math on it, and go to its origin. And it's Beal, Beal, pale, white, shining, ashen. There it is. Now, scholars do that, people who can't read fall for that social engineering. That's connotative linguistics. But you know that. You see? Now, it is your duty to teach those who do not know. So they don't fall for it. That's all. So you, you educate you educate your own <coughs> you educate your own knowing that they're not going to educate them. It's also your responsibility starting with the womb, which is the first school. So the Georgia of American Revolution use your science and they give you their BS under the cabal operations to make your people docile. Uh, just because this. they were giving you opposition on your Facebook doesn't mean they didn't hear you. They heard you this time and they might say, oh, well, I'm still black, but they'll hear the next person, they'll hear the next person, they'll hear the next person, they'll remember you for being the first person that told them, hey, and they'll start to click, maybe I'm not black. 
They got to stand up for what they believe and what they were taught to believe yeah. up until now. It's hard to try to teach an old dog new tricks. It's hard to tell an adult to understand Santa Claus and childlike things that they think are childlike to them. Yeah. So don't think that you weren't heard just because they gave you opposition. Oh, they heard you. As a matter of fact, they heard you so much so they responded. You know the beautiful about thing about it? About it. The person I was, um, because what happened was everybody was going crazy. So I said, let me maybe try to help because I see something that they don't. And so I got attacked by somebody I thought was my friend. Oh, you keep coming on Facebook every day because I do like a word of the day, right. you know, thing like that. And I'm like, they're like, oh, you're trying to put your truth on people. And that like, America is a continent. So I'm like, it's my truth. It that America is a continent when it's like every, mm -hmm. so I'll post. But, it's a but I, I, I started talking in the video and I was just like, listen, you know, and I was just like, don't come. And I, I always, I read, I actually read books, and I should have my 200 books that are 1700 years old, the uh, 1800s, and it, it's funny, it wasn't for the person that I was addressing, maybe like 30 people came under there and said, can we have classes in the morning? Yes. Somebody called me from Jamaica and said, I'll wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning, yes. and we'll have class 6 to 9. Yes. So it wasn't, sometimes even for me, because I got the nudge to make this video a while ago, so this had to happen for me to get mad enough, to be passionate enough to say, you know what, I have to let them understand why my narrative has changed, right. why my literature is saying, and what it means, this more thing that I've been saying since the other day. And we even went as far as to say to them, okay, Nani of the Moons in Jamaica, she's buried in Moortown. So we try to use things to relate to them mm -hmm. so they can understand and realize. And a lot of them are coming like, now I'm waking up in the morning and seeing messages. The ones that were bashing me are secretly coming. Okay, where do so I where get this? It? Mm -hmm. So it, it was worth it, but I had to get passionate. Just be like, you have to Stop. keep that passion. Because every time we lose that passion is when we lose our quote-unquote followers. Yeah. They want to see that passion. They want to see that fight. Because it gives them to have something to want to fight and be passionate about. It's true. It's true. Go ahead. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Give it to the young. Right. Right. Oh, it's a whole from the guide. one of them, right? Yes. It says that one says the Constitution of the United States. That's, and that's one says the four. The four is the organic. It's organic. That's yes. the real deal. The yes. sure. And this is yes. them. They and then the U would be small uh, and be four. Uh, so that's. 1871. That's a baby. That's a teaching tool. That's a This is this is why I was showing you up here. Okay. Now this is from uh, James Tropicon on the floor of the House of Representatives. Now read this uh, paragraph and, and think when no Raleigh said the old Canaanite like Temple. Now look at the counter Prior to 1913, most Americans owned clear alonial title. See alonial title? Yes. Yeah. The property free and clear of any liens or mortgages until the Federal Reserve Act 1913 hypothecated all property within the Federal United States to the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve in which the trustees, stockholders, held legal title. The U.S. citizen tenant franchisee was registered as a beneficiary, is the double stock trust. And the trust via his or her birth certificate mm. in 1933. Now, as you can see, th uh, then it goes into the 14th Amendment person. Again, that goes back to that history. And so you can see before 1913, was everything was held in the loyal title. And if you present that to people now, they don't not only don't know what you're talking about, they don't know that they're sharecropping with a mortgage, that they're really tenants. Awesome. And they don't own crap. So don't try to convince them with a passionate argument. Show them documents. Show them the congressional records, which is why we're showing them to you. Let them argue with the facts, not with you. Yeah. But that makes sense That's because if you're paying rent or you're paying mortgage, then you are a tenant. If you're paying anything, then you don't own it. Mortgage means dead pledge. <laughs> More black, dead, gauge, pledge or contract. Contract is dead because it's a fraud. You're the pledge, you're a tenant, you're sharecropping. 
And so when people got mortgages, they don't even know they're sharecropping and they want to tell you about ownership. So you see, so you don't can't argue with people who don't, who can't read. Show, give them documents, lead them on. Because if you try to reason with them, remember when you're dealing with people that don't deal with facts, people who, who are trained in belief systems are trained not to respect math, not to respect divine thinking. They're trained by the priesthood to reject common law, thus common sense. Yes. Do you understand? So this is why they have different versions of beliefs. Mm -hmm. They do not facts nor divine law that does not change or pass away. They make those statements, but they are in total violation of them. So give them documents, let them argue with the facts. Because other than that, they will accuse you of trying to put your beliefs on them. Here's the facts, here's the documents. Do you understand? That's well, a good question. Right? I didn't argue with them. No, I'm just saying, this is, I'm just saying, this is the documents. And they like to say, brothers and sisters who don't understand that, you give them an atlas. You say, see right here? You treat them like the little boys and girls that they are. That's why you're being called I mean, a boy and girl. Boys and say, girls. this is North America, <laughs> Central America, <laughs> South America, <laughs> America's <laughs> continent. It's not a country. Exactly and then like as far as talking about you got a devil on us, so you let them go through or whatever they're going to go through. And say, you're American. Do you understand that? Take them through dictionary. Show them Americana. That's all the islands. So when brothers and sisters from the islands think they're not Americans, it's because they're under the spell. So show them third grade geography. And then take them through the dictionary. See this G O? That's Earth. Geography. Don't be talking to me like that. Well, you're acting like that. You know, you want to act like a child, let's talk to you like a child. Geography. <laughs> and land, lunchbox. <laughs> Don't cut them no slack with their arrogance, because they keep on destroying our babies. Just because they want to sell themselves out. Because, see, involuntary servitude is unlawful. But if they want to voluntarily be black, let them be black. Because guess what they got for King Alfred? Let's, let's go King Alfred and then we'll close yeah. out. I want to show you this. I want to show you this. Uh, this is what they got for the people. Zero committee report. Hmm. Minority troops divided and detained. That means the, the, the so-called minorities in the army, they're going to throw them in the brig just like they did the Geronimo mm -hmm. after they mm -hmm. sit around and keep convincing their own people. Mm -hmm. All right, well, white sympath uh, sympathizers on the guard. All minority leaders, national and local, will be detained. President addresses minority on radio and television. Gives it one hour to end the emergency. All units on the regional command into the emergency. Zero committee reports. So survey shows that during a six-year period, production created nine million objects. They really talk about people. And one. Million five hundred thousand each year. Production could not dispose of the containers, which proved a bottleneck. However, there are almost uh, 
uh, 20, that was, 20 that was almost 20 years ago. At this point, they're talking about the Second World War, some other people that was claiming to be somebody not that they took to some barbecue chambers. <laughs> anyway, we suggest that vaporization techniques will be employed to overcome the production problems inherent in King Alfred. In other words, they're going to vaporize them so they don't have to worry about the shells. So if they want to be black, you know what black means? Ashes. <laughs> With sprinklers. Yes. They want to be black. They want to be black. To be that ashes. means they refuse to honor their mothers and their fathers, and they are absolutely expendable. And they want to find themselves really black. This is the scariest thing I've ever read in my life. No, but don't be, because it's not like scared this. of it. They're going to, remember, they're yeah. going to reduce the population. Mm -hmm. Now, and so, who are expendable? People who don't honor their mothers and fathers. Mm -hmm. They have no heritage. That's a rule. Honor your mothers and fathers that your days may be longer on from the earth land. They don't want to be on the earth land. They will be black. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Don't feel sorry for them because they're traitors. There will be two in the field. One will be taken and the other will be left. Don't sit around and get personally attached. Tell them the truth. Keep it moving. Peace, y'all. Yeah. Thank you for coming out here to be awakening minds. Dr. Nayon. Could you tell um, the listeners where you're going to be, like your schedule, because there might be somebody that is... I'll be in Ohio 18th, in Cleveland, Ohio, 18th of this month. Okay. To and the 21st, from 18th to the 21st. Oh, okay. And other than that, we'll be at the house of reawakening minds. Thank you, But uh, but I'm just saying. Yeah, oh, no, okay, so you'll be back here on the first Friday yes. of December. Yes. Okay, and I just want to um, I just want to thank everybody. I'll turn it around a little bit. Uh, hey, everybody out there. Just want to thank you. Yeah, I've been holding this phone for the whole time. Mm -hmm. We all appreciate this. I know you did. <laughs> but listen, he'll be back here um, on the first Friday of uh, December. License by any state, upper and lower case, and that's Schwer versus Board of uh, Examiners, 353, U.S. 238, 239, being the practice of law is an occupation of common right. Are we clear, you all? What is that? That's, um, you know, yeah. Google, Google. That's case law. Attorney license for it. <coughs> Excuse me. Write it down, y'all. Attorney license for it, and it'll come up. And print that off, so keep that in mind. But this is also back to why you must know that the Constitution and the treaty constitutes the supreme law of the land. And that's what you're supposed to use in defense of your estate and your birthright. That's it. All right? You ain't got to jump through the hoop with a whole bunch of other stuff. Yep. And if you fall for uh, such distractions, that means you willingly give up your birthright. So now you know that the true American flag is the Al-Malakian flag. And you know that Stars and Stripes is amity and commerce. And they breached the treaty. Therefore, they have no authority of operations whatsoever. Clear for the documents. Get the point? Mm -hmm. uh, with you. And that the estate has been restored to the proper beneficiaries, the aggregate, true Americans of the land, i.e. the Moors. It's lots of time. Can you explain to everybody that's listening the treasury bonds that's being dumped? The treasury bonds that's being dumped. Uh, when you hear the word derivatives and all that, those are all right. Bottom this is derivatives. And this is why. Like, say, for instance, like here, say this represents a stock, a legitimate stock on gold right. or silver. Mm -hmm. I, I sell, she, she buys a stock. Mm -hmm. This stock is, say, worth um, really be purged because a lot of people really don't understand this, even though it's public knowledge. Right. However, things are moving so quickly yes. with these operatives trying to kill the heirs off them. The heirs don't know they're trying to kill them all. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, they see the chemtrails, mm -hmm. strange files and stuff. Mm -hmm. 
and everybody keep getting colds and all kind of stuff and cancers and everything. They're trying to kill them all. And they sit around looking for a job. And that ain't going to happen. And praying for cancer. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yes. Uh, and so, uh, uh, again, it is incumbent and it's, it's our responsibility, knowing the truth, to teach someone who does not know. And let them understand it's not a belief system. It's an estate. It's the real world's politics. And they were at the center and didn't know it. That's what our people need to understand. So you give them documents. Don't try to convince them of anything. Give them documents. Say 500 legitimate United States dollars back in gold or silver as per Article 1, Section 10 of the American Constitution. I sell this to her. She puts this in her treasury. She's, in her mind, secure. Then unbeknownst to her, after I sell this one, I print another one on top of this, and I do it 300 times. Mm -hmm. I just robbed her without physically robbing her. Now her bond is worthless. Mm -hmm. That's called quantitative easing. Mm -hmm. That's what derivatives are. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, derivatives are counterfeit multiplied on top of counterfeit. Mm -hmm. And then selling them again to other people and then doing it again to them. That's what's going on. And this is where this thing is getting ready to hit the fan big time. And people are going to find out they got no security, no savings, no retirement, no nothing. And that's what all of this stuff is. They're trying to cover this stuff up because it's getting ready to eat this. Because remember, they've been trained like little rats. They don't deal with facts. They only deal with belief systems. And they think it came from Jesus. Not knowing it came from Rome. You know, so, it's, it, so they're going to be very sensitive, they're going to be defensive, they're going to have tunnel vision, and a whole bunch of things, so don't get offended, just give them documents. <coughs> and then let it lay. And if they don't accept it, knock the dust off your heels, and keep it moving. Give it to somebody who wants it. <coughs> Any other questions? I, 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 got, I got one more comment. Go ahead. Oh, here's, here's the mic. You need the mic? Oh, yes. Yeah, attorney's license. Attorney license form. Attorney license. Ain't no such thing. As per United States Supreme Court, the practice of law cannot be 